Welcome! Today we are going to be exploring keystone species. So, what is a keystone? Well, generally, a keystone is the central principle or part of a policy, system, etc. on which other things depend on. Historically, a keystone is the central stone at the top of an arch. It helps to lock the whole arch together. In science or ecology, a keystone species is something that other species in an ecosystem largely depend on to survive. So, what would happen without a keystone? Well, generally, if you remove the central principle, it can cause a whole system to fall apart. Historically, if you remove the keystone, it can cause the whole arch to crumble and fall. In the environment, if you remove a keystone species from their ecosystem, it can cause a chain reaction, causing the whole system to collapse. So, what can be a keystone species? Well, animals, plants, fungi, and even bacteria can be keystone species. There are three main groups or types. Let's explore them. First up is a predator. Next is an ecosystem engineer. And lastly is our mutualists. A shark is a keystone species. He is in our group of predators and helps keep balance in our ecosystem by eating other animals. Like fish, he keeps populations under control in our ecosystem. Next is a beaver. This keystone species is an ecosystem engineer, which means he changes his environment. A beaver creates beaver dams, which help change the flow of a river and cause different environments for their animals and plants around them. Next are bees and flowers. This group is a group of mutualists, which means they mutually benefit each other. Bees need flowers for their nectar to make food, and flowers want to be pollinated by the bees. Our last keystone species for today is the gopher tortoise, an oxbow meadow's favorite. These animals are examples of ecosystem engineers in our longleaf pine forest ecosystems. These ecosystem engineers change their environment by creating burrows. Their burrows are up to 40 feet long and house over 300 different species of animals, including fox, rabbits, lizards, invertebrates, skunks, burrowing owls, gopher frogs, and even indigo snakes. In their burrows, they protect them from high and extreme temperatures. So whether it be forest fires that are important and key to our longleaf pine ecosystems, or whether it's freezing temperatures during the winter. Thank you for joining us today as we learn about keystone species. We hope you've learned something today and we hope to see you at Oxbow Meadows soon. Goodbye.